Yo, what's up? What's going on guys? Zach or Mortal Resistance here and welcome back to another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, what we're going to be talking about is the best class setup when using the brand new Blunderbuss Shotgun. Now, this thing, not going to lie, is probably one of the worst weapons in Advanced Warfare simply because of the what seems like forever reload time. This thing's reload time is off the chain bad. So, uh, unfortunately, that really limits this weapon. It does take a little bit more... Um, um, uh, it takes a little bit more patience to use, I would say. Uh, I'd say that's the best word to fit this. But nonetheless, uh, I think it is a very, very fun gun to use. Regardless, it kind of feels like you're using a musket in, uh, in in some way, just because it takes so long to reload. It's like an old, old fashioned, old school reload. You got to put the uh, actual shot into the barrel of the gun. You have to load it with gunpowder. It's a cool gun, in all honesty. But that reload time really limits how aggressive you can play with this gun. So for people like me who like to go for like DNA bombs or high scoring games plays this gun is really not one of choice but regardless let's go over the best class setup for this weapon in my opinion so for starters you're gonna have to unlock the blunderbuss by opening a variant of it out of a uh, supply drop or an advanced supply drop now me I got lucky uh, I have like four or five variants of this including the blunderbuss royalty elite variant which uh, personally is the uh, one that I like the most that's the one I'm using in the gameplay that you guys are watching and it's actually got minus two handling plus one mobility and plus one damage so I think that's a pretty good weapon in all honesty now as far as attachments go there's actually only three attachments you can use on the blunderbuss that is the quick draw grip, the stock, and then the advanced rifling. Now, personally, I really see the best attachments for this as uh, as stock and or uh, advanced rifling. Advanced rifling is definitely going to be the most important one to add a little bit more range because obviously there are those variants that decrease the range by one or two in addition for some uh, like plus damage or plus mobility, stuff like that. Um, but advanced rifling, it's just going to be a good attachment in general. Adding more range to a shotgun is never going to be a bad thing, especially one like this, which is normally like a one-hit kill in a close range engagement but if they're at any sort of distance that you feel like a shotgun wouldn't one hit someone at uh, it's most likely gonna be a hit marker and it's gonna take one or two more shots to actually kill them and with that reload time chances are they're gonna turn around and shoot you before you have a chance to shoot another shot at them um, as far as perks go in perk 1 low profile now perk 2 is really where this class is based around you're gonna want to have perk 2 greed and what I like to rock is fast hands and gung-ho with gung-ho I can shoot and sprint at the same time which is a very very big deal for mobility, being able to run around with a shotgun like this, which takes a long time to reload, you're going to want to be on the move a lot. You're not going to be wanting to stand still because uh, if you're sitting there standing still, chances are you're going to get shot from a, an AR or an SMG from a long distance. You're not going to have a chance to even fight back. And then um, fast hands so that you can reload while sprinting. Another huge, huge, huge thing with this class. Say you get one kill and you see another enemy coming around the corner. You want to get out of dodge because uh, you're not going to have time to reload and then shoot them before they see you and inevitably kill you. So you can run and sprint out of there and reload at the same time wait for them to turn around another corner and boom you got yourself an easy kill now as far as perk 3 goes this is sort of like up to you guys what I like to rock is blast suppressor and scavenger as far as my exo uh, my exo ability goes I like to rock exo overclock and then score streaks that's all up to you guys what I like using is the UAV and the system hack on the UAV speed threat detection and extra time and on the system hack disable exo extra time and flash now, in my opinion, there we go. That's the best class setup for the Blunderbuss. Now, if you guys have one that you really like to use, feel free to let me know what it is down in the comments below. Share it around with the other people watching this video. If you guys did enjoy and you want to leave a like rating, feel free to do so. It helps grow the channel. It helps get this video out there for others to see, which is always awesome. And if you guys are new and you want to catch future content, be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. I've been Zach or Mortal Resistance, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.